Okay, that insanity was from um, a recent video by Vegan Gains. Uh, this is going to be my commentary on his uh, his riding attitude. Now, I'm not like an expert on uh, riding motorcycles or anything, but I've uh, but uh, but I've um, been riding for over 20 years. Um, often, a bike has been my only method of transport. Uh, it's almost always been a secondary, like I've had a car and a bike. Um, because sometimes you want to go for a ride, and sometimes you want to get through traffic to get somewhere, and sometimes a bike is better for that. Um, and I've also done quite a few motorbike tours, uh, like long ones, um, overseas, and I've lived in countries where the the norm on the road is insanity, and, I, and I've had motorcycles as my main transport in those countries. And I've never had an accident on the road uh, in 20 years, not counting a one accident, but that doesn't kind of count. Uh, I might make a video about that one day, but when I've been riding a motorcycle, I've never had an accident on the road. Uh, I've had accidents in, on, on uh, dirt bikes, but that doesn't count. Okay, so um, the reason I'm making this video is because I like uh, vegan gains, as anyone who watches this channel will know, and um, although wheelchair gains has a nice ring to it, um, I'd prefer to see him uh, live a, a long and healthy life uh, and keep making videos. Um, I don't want to see him uh, paraplegic um, or dead from a motorcycle crash. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's start running. Hi everyone. So uh, today, Jasmine and I are going to the Toronto Vegan Dale Veg Fest. Uh, we're just stopped at a glove factory to charge our uh, electric bikes. Okay, so I've included this in the video just to be uh, give a bit of context, uh, and also it's worth noting that he's not riding on his own. That like when you ride with somebody else, it can change your attitude, um, and when you have a camera on, particularly, it can change your attitude. And I'm not sure exactly how it would change your attitude when you're with somebody. You've got a camera, and not just that you're making a vlog at the same time. I think that could. Uh, change your focus and change your uh, your attitude when on the road yeah just uh, switch lanes without signaling and do it suddenly okay so I included this kind of non-event uh, in the video because it, it sort of shows the attitude like um, I think being concerned with other people's driving and whether they're breaking rules or anything like that like it it's of no importance to you getting to where you need to go uh, and getting there alive or enjoying your ride. Uh, if anything, I think um, focusing on other people's uh, rule breaking or not, like it, it's going to distract your awareness uh, and it's going to change maybe your emotional state and uh, just make it make your journey more dangerous for you. Like, you can see crazy shit happening on the road, and it's just like, it's happening all the time anyway. It's like, uh, just embrace it. It's like you're playing a computer game, and this is happening. Just you go and do it. You don't judge what's happening. Um, yeah, I think this is, this is I've included this is to show, like, the, the attitude of, like, uh, having, your, having your, like, attention in the wrong place right from the start. Yeah, just uh, switch lanes without signaling and do it suddenly. I love uh, nice turns like this. It's nice being able to feel the turn and lean into it. Yeah, bikes are fun, man. You, you can't ride them if you're a paraplegic, though. Waiting to see when this idiot's gonna notice the road ends. Okay, you see that? There's like a little bit of a cut there. Um, so there's a, a, a car like coming fast on the, uh, on the left and then one on the right changing lanes. Um, and he was like remarking about like whether the guy had, had noticed the guy. I assume that was overtaking him, that the road was gonna end. I assume the road was ending on that side. Um, 
I wouldn't be even thinking about that. I'd be thinking, where can I put myself uh, to be the safest in what might eventually happen? So he's already he's foreseeing what could happen, like, um, but he's staying where he is, and he's not moving to safety. It's like, what's your job there? Your job isn't there to like document other people's writing or judge it. It's there. Your your job is to stay alive as best you can. Waiting to see when this idiot's gonna notice the road ends. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what happens after this because it cuts out here. Like, um, and I kind of wonder why. I wonder if something happened and it was, uh, it was decided to, it was left out of the final edit. Okay, and I'll just talk a bit about what I would do here. Like, um, so we've got this guy who's gonna move over and he knows there's someone coming on the on the left side I'd be breaking now just to give myself distance in case some shit happens and I'd be thinking about moving over into that right lane when it's clear to give myself a lot of out space in case some shit goes on instead he's sitting here making this guy's life difficult you know he's making it hard so this guy has to like chase around to, to get him before the road ends or something like you want a motorbike man if something happens you want a fucking wheelchair if you're lucky. Alright, uh... Just waiting to see when this idiot's gonna notice the road ends. Yep. Okay, so I'm imagining the bus is like, uh... Holy turning shit. Turning on that lane because it's a bus. You know? But yeah, you fucking can fucking retard. give a finger to a bus if Can't you want, turn. because the bus isn't going to catch you. Uh, so yeah, you know, fair enough. But it, it's kind of showing a bad attitude, like you're getting emotionally involved with the fucking traffic, uh, which I don't think is good. What does that say there? It says um, some idiot was stopping in the middle of What's traffic to drop his friends off, uh, holding up the traffic. <laughs> yeah, let's see what happens. Who's doing that? So there you go, like he's talking to his wife. Uh, would this happen if his wife wasn't there? Or he's by himself, you know? You're seriously stopping when traffic is going to let people out. This guy, he's lucky it's a guy on his own. It could have been a group of guys in the mean? car. Could have been, like it's a green light, This dude. guy could be a psycho, he could have a fucking huh? guy. Turns out he's a nice guy, Doesn't matter, you guy, can't stop in the middle of traffic to let people out. You never know who you're fucking with, man. Right, just, like, I'm just saying, you're not legally allowed. I could tell you a story, it's like, cool. about some shit that's happened to me when I peeped this someone out. It was hectic. You never know who like, you're fucking at least he said sorry. Yeah, at least he said sorry. At least you didn't fucking pull a weapon on you or get out and push you off your bike. Uh, yeah, you might have won in a fight, but your bike could be fucked. Um, or you might have won in a fight and just kick, kick the shit out of you. Like, why even get involved? <laughs> it's, uh, it's just increasing the chances of some, some bad shit happening in your life, I don't know. Jackass. Is that you or him? Okay, so we'll let that. We're gonna watch this like uh, in full, and then then I'll watch it again, kind of afterwards, and uh, break it down. Is that guy talking shit? He fucking swerved into me. Fucking asshole. God. That's what you get when you go to Toronto. It's fucking insane. I think people actually think if they're signaling they that you have to get out of their way or something. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, uh people think that the signal you have to get out of the way, like the thing is like you're on a bike and they're in a car and you don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know if they're senior, that you don't know anything. If uh, if they're signaling to move, just get out of the way. Like if you've got a bike that's fast enough, you get ahead of them. If you if you can't, you slow or you you slow down, you move lane. Uh, or or more than that, don't be in a position where you're going to be stopping anyone from changing lanes.
Okay, so what's saying before, like where you are right now, I would never want to be. I don't know uh, exactly how you ended up here. I've not seen the video before this, uh, but you're in the guy's blind spot. It looks like you're in his blind spot. That means that like you can't see looking out the window, and you probably can't see in the mirror. This is not somewhere you, where you ever want to be. You particularly don't want to be like cruising in this place because you can't see it. And more than that, like maybe you can see it, but you're not. You haven't allowed him the position to move over. This is before he's even said or uh, indicated he's going to move over. If there's a car there, you, I think you want to allow, make sure there's enough room that if the guy wants to change lanes, you can do it without putting your life in danger because it's you that end, and it's you that matters at the end of the day, right? Um, however, it looks like the guy does start to move over and rather than like give him some room, break, let him, let him move over, you turn into a contest, so he's got the biggest dick contest. He's got the biggest dick, he's got a car, you're on a bike. The worst that can happen to him is you scratch his paint. The worst that can happen to you is you die. Um, I mean, like, I wouldn't even be in this position because I want a bike in this kind of traffic where, and your bike is definitely fast enough, where you're zooming past everyone, you're weaving through and everything starts to stand still a little bit. But you've chosen to go at the same speed uh, as the other traffic and, then, and therefore you should behave uh, in, in a cordial manner. Not to be like, uh, not to be polite and a good guy, but for your own safety, like more than anything else. Um, but yeah, like if this was me, I'd be, I'd be zooming through all of these gaps and weaving around, uh, which is a lot safer than um, I think what you're doing. Jackass. Is that you or him? Asshole. An asshole. Yeah, everyone's crazy on the fucking road, man. Okay, now let's uh, let's go to what happens there later when this guy uh, meets him again. Yeah. Okay, what does that say? Now the same guy who nearly swerved into me is following us. He's in the middle lane and signaling to go into the right lane, but he isn't moving and is just waiting for an opportunity to swerve into me again to try and scare me. Um, okay, you've already had an incident with this guy. Uh, I would be staying the fuck away from him. I'd be like getting ahead and away, or I'd be backing off, or at least let him move where he wants to go. I can see him. He's indicating that he wants to move, and you're not letting him move in a safe. He has his right blinker on. You're not giving him any room to move over. He has his right blinker on. He has his right blinker on because he wants to move right, and now you're moving over and blocking him. Why? It, it's become like a war or something. You got emotionally involved in the road. What the fuck? Look at this. You've accelerated in to try and block him. <laughs> You know, know who you're dealing with on the road, the guy could be fucking crazy. This guy want to get his mirror smashed? Does he want to get his mirror smashed? Do you want to get your neck smashed? Do you want to end up in a wheelchair? Do you want to end up dead? Because... I love how uh, when fucking assholes like don't drive properly and they almost run you off the road, they get mad at you <laughs> when they're the ones who almost kill you. Yeah, but you could see, you could see that he was trying to move over. He was blinkering, he was blinking or whatever the fuck you call it, to move over. You saw like later on he took that exit lane, you're coming up to an exit, someone's blinking to take over, you've had a problem with him before, and you're fucking... Turning it into some kind of battle. I don't know, like... Let the guy... Either basically get the fuck away from him on your bike because you've got a bit of speed. Or let him go where he wants to go. And then be happy that you make it home alive. Um, everything that happened there was, was your fault. And... Even if it came... Even if that had turned... Which it could have. If that had turned out bad, like he'd fucking smashed you off your bike. Uh, and for some reason in court they decided that it was his fault. Uh, 
he'd be in jail for like a couple of years or whatever, you'd be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. Like, it doesn't matter about being right or wrong, it matters about making it home safely, okay? That's just, that's, that's my entire point watching this, watching all of your riding. He has his right blinker on. He's got his right blinker on. Let him fucking right move. Blinker on. You got to block him. And this is suicide. Are you suicidal? Seriously, are you suicidal, man? That was a suicide move, eh? Hey? I don't know. I don't know. This guy wanna get his mirror smashed? Fucking asshole. I love how uh, when fucking assholes like don't drive properly and they almost run you off the road, they get mad at you <laughs> when they're the ones who almost kill you. <laughs> so fucked. Okay, so if you're watching this vegan games, I hope you uh, um, didn't get too angry with uh, my critique of your writing. Um, I just. I don't know, like, you might not see this video, but I hope that maybe someone else who's got a bigger channel picks up on, on this video of yours and uh, does a response uh, in like a motorcycle channel to, to just kind of point out what the, what, the fuck, uh, what the fuck is going on with your riding. And what could be maybe good for you, like, uh, is take a video of you riding around a city, like, with where you're talking and stuff. Uh, maybe do a 10 minute video of everything that you do when you're riding around and send it to one of these big motorcycle channels uh, and, and send it to them so like, I want you to like uh, uh, critique my riding um, and you might get some more viewers for them because like this big motorcycle channel could use your uh, riding um, as an example uh, you know like critique where, what, what you're doing dangerous, what you're doing right, what you're doing not right because like some of the stuff's right and um, it could open up a like a it could open up your channel to new viewers, um, and you could learn from this uh, this critique of like say like a, a established motorcycle channel, um, and other people watching it could learn as well from like this person critiquing you. It could be like a win 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 for everybody um, at the end of the day. Okay, so I wish you uh, all the best in your uh, in the future of your channel um, and beating your depression and shit um, and yeah just maybe like uh, don't take your anger out onto the fucking roads because um, being right doesn't matter uh, when you're sitting in a wheelchair None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. Nick, my nut. I'm nothing. I'm not cut it out. I'm a pimp for my actor. That's why uh, black people shouldn't be allowed to drive. They're too violent. The next day. That's why uh, black people shouldn't be allowed to drive. They're too violent. The next day.